What's going on guys, it's Emil here and today I want to bring you a relatively short commentary video talking about how to improve at custom tracks. It's a topic that I've wanted to cover for some time but I've kind of just like refused to. I really don't know why. I, I've never really had the time to do it until now so I figured I might as well do some chill commentary over some custom track worldwide races from like the end of June <laughs> since I had these laying around. But anyway, in case you guys don't know, I've been a custom track player since 2013 and I've consistently been at the top of the ranks since I'd like to say the end of 2015 going into 2016. And I think it's really time that I start to help people improve at CTs because when you compare the gameplay for regular tracks and custom tracks, Division 1 looks so different when you compare the both of them. When it comes to CTs though, the first and foremost tip for improvement I can tell you is go into time trials. Seriously, time trials are your number one way to improve at custom tracks overall. And they'll obviously help you a lot more when you start to play regular tracks, but going into time trials is extremely beneficial, especially with the introduction of the ghost system. And if you guys don't know what exactly that type of practice would look like, what I would recommend is to go into a time trial on any given custom track. Get like a run no matter how good, how bad it is. Just make sure you like just drive it like you normally would and see what time you get. And once you kind of get that down, see how close you are to the BKT or and if you're really far off from it, Maybe you want to improve at it, download a ghost that's like barely faster than you or maybe like at least at highest a second faster than you. Like going any more than that is really going to be difficult to improve with. But racing ghosts that are slightly faster than you really helps with solidifying your driving. Because when it comes to driving, I really think that especially with me, Improving your driving really small steps at a time is definitely the way to go like that's how I was when it came to regular tracks and It helped me get a 117 on Mario Circuit 3 like late last year and that was honestly really fun to get but If you guys want like my recommendation for tracks to time trial There's a lot of variety there because there's so many different things to focus on on custom tracks like Compared to 2015, I'd say the greatest difference with custom tracks is that they are geared so much more towards the technical aspect of the game. Like, you're going to have to learn so much about soft drifting, slip drifting, doing hop tricks off of mushrooms, chain wheelies, everything like that. Because all of these things are just so crucially important now on custom tracks compared to 2015 when all you had to do was know how to drive a track better than someone and you would be at the front of the pack consistently. Now, if you want to really get your line solidified though, a track I would recommend is SNES Mario Circuit 2. The reason I would recommend that track above any any other track is because there's been a lot of good history there, particularly with lines, with Vincent and Luke having the top two. Back when they had one of their custom track fights back in the end of like I think the end of 2017. Luke and Vincent both brought that track down by a pretty significant amount and it still stands where it was like at the beginning of 2018 so if you guys want to get like really good at lines I think SNES Mario Circuit 2 is your go-to and like I said earlier be sure to like decrease the ghost time like a little bit at a time just start with one run there and if you don't know the shroom strat definitely watch the BKT and then just do the shroom strat that it does and depending on your time, try to find a time that's really close to you or at least at most, like I said, a second. Download that and race that around the track. And that way you're gonna keep on improving your lines little bit by little bit. And where it comes to technical parts, I'd say Cool Castle Canyon and Glimmer Express Trains are probably some of your most technical tracks. And if you wanna do a little bit of the hop tricking practice, I'd say Lava Road is probably your go-to for that. Anyway, with all the time trialing aspects aside, I think another important part to address is the game knowledge part. I think starting in like early 2018, game knowledge became really important on custom tracks because 
people really started to understand tracks a lot more people started to time trial more go for 250 gold stars or just getting gold stars in general so people were starting to get on relatively similar playing fields because people wouldn't have such broken advantages over other teams and players so if you really want to learn more about game knowledge i think your go-to place for that is probably mogi lounge and if not mogi lounge then definitely watching players play the mogi lounge like if you head over to twitch.tv and go to the mario kart wii section i guarantee you at almost any given point during the day you're going to be finding someone streaming mario kart wii mogis and it doesn't matter if they're on regular tracks or custom tracks you can still learn about item play from either one of them obviously the way you use your items is going to be very different when it comes to switching in between the tracks but it's nowhere near as important as it is on regular tracks because custom tracks they're still more focused around driving but once you get to the higher divisions you're gonna have to start worrying about your items too and learning how to play around those but anyway guys i think that's all the tips i can give you for now i really hope you enjoyed this type of video and honestly i really love doing commentary like this if you want me to do more commentary videos that are just like laid back and just giving tips and stuff like that let me know obviously i'm not arc intel but if you guys want stuff like that let me know and honestly another video i had planned was to react to some old staff go or some old ghosts that i found on my sd card from like 2012 or 2013 so if you guys want to see that let me know but anyway that is all i have for you guys right now i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys next time peace out